Hello and welcome to our video tutorial today. Let's talk about making a DVD in Vegas Movie Studio. That's one of the exciting things is you can make some very professional looking DVDs by using the DVD architect that's uh, bundled with your Movie Studio program. Now I'm using the Vegas Movie Studio Platinum 10 version. I have the DVD architect and that's uh, version 5 and so we'll be using that. So let's say that we have our video on our timeline, we've got everything set up, we've got our titles, we've got everything ready to go except we need to enter some markers. In other words, where do I want my chapters to be in the DVD? Well you can designate that right away. You don't have to wait until you get into the program itself. You can do it right now while you're in the studio program, so let's do that. Now I've split this little clip up in about three or four spots so that we can put some markers in between. Once we uh, put our cursor, our scrub line, where we want to make our marker at, we can go up here to insert and then marker, and then we can label it. We can just say, for instance, chapter one. And then we'll do the same thing here, insert marker chapter two and of course you can put whatever you want for your title and let's do one more insert marker chapter three and now we have our chapters the way we want them now what we want to do is go up here to make movie Instead of saving it to my hard drive, we want to burn it to a DVD or Blu-ray disc. So we're going to do that and follow the prompts here. We want a DVD for this one. And it's going to ask where we want to put the uh, files that they're going to be using to make the DVD at. We can adjust that if we want to. And uh, it also asks if you want to save project markers in media file. This is very important. We do want to. We want to save the markers we just put in and use them as our references for our chapters. And so we're ready to go next now. And we're going to let that render. And while it's doing the rendering now, it could take anywhere from a few minutes to an hour or two, depending how big your video is going to be, how big the DVD is going to be. So we'll just have to wait a minute. Now that our media has been rendered, it now opens up our DVD Architect Studio software and we're ready to go with this. Now, uh, first of all, we want to label what this DVD is going to be called. And so we go up here and click on the menu one screen, that's the default name, and we can go down here and edit text and we can put whatever we want. We're going to just do test DVD. And then you notice over here we have a menu structure. And this is, shows our test DVD, that's the title of it. Underneath that, we have our first product tutorial. Now, I had to cheat a little bit on this one. Rather than to wait for a long time for it to render, I simply entered uh, a piece of media in here. Now, if we want to add something manually, that's quite easy to do, too. Click on the top structure here, go up here to Insert, and then Media. And then you choose whatever video snippet you want to use. And now we're going to have two different type of menus. You see them listed here, but they look kind of cockeyed. How do we fix it? Well, we can simply left click and drag to the appropriate spots where we want. And of course, this depends on how many menus you're going to have. And we can also zoom in to see what we have as far as the names. So let's zoom in just a little bit. And now we can edit text here. So we're just going to say chapter two for something quick and easy. That's good there. Let's zoom back out just a little bit. And then we want to label this one as well. And we want to go down here to edit text again. And we'll do chapter one. I can type it. Okay, now let's see it in smaller size. And obviously we want chapter one before chapter two, and so we can just simply drag these around and put them in the order that we want. Now we can create a background graphic or even a background video. How do we do that? We go up here into our properties. This is the menu page properties. 
And then it asks uh, what the background media. If we click on that, it shows what we've got. It's got a standard background media. We can add anything we want by double clicking that. And we can do replace. And we can put whatever picture we want. We can put a video if we want to. Let's try a little video and see what that looks like. Okay, and we have little clouds that will be um, kind of animated in the background. Now you can adjust the remote buttons. There's a lot of things you can adjust if you want to. In this particular tutorial, I don't want to get too complicated with it, but uh, all these elements can be changed according to what you want. Also, the DVD structure can be changed any way you want to. You can make submenus under uh, a particular video. So you can do all sorts of things like that. Now let's preview and see what we've got so far. And we have our movement, we have our video in the background, we have chapter one. Let's click on it and see if it goes to the snippet that we want, and it does. And let's go back to our, let's go back to our menu by clicking on that button. And let's check the other one. And that works too. That gives you just a general idea on how to use the DVD Architect. We'll be doing some more uh, tutorials on this one, but I thought this would be a good introduction. And once we're done with that, and once we have it the way I want, and once we have previewed it to make sure everything's working right, of course then we click up here to make DVD. And obviously you have to put a blank uh, DVD in your uh, DVD drive. Uh, you can also prepare it and put it in a folder that you can uh, burn later on if you want to, or you can burn it directly. Quite easy to do. Uh, very good uh, help instructions in the help files that you can follow along if you need some help.